A drone camera shows the submerged wreckage of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge. Police managed to stop traffic entering the crossing with just 90 seconds notice before disaster struck. Hold on traffic on the Key Bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. A radio dispatcher captures the moment early Tuesday when a Singapore-flagged ship, apparently powerless and laden with cargo, collided with the structure, sending it crumbling into the Patapsco River. The whole bridge just fell down. The whole bridge just collapsed. The dispatcher had sought to warn workers filling potholes on the bridge. There's a crew up there. We might want to notify whoever the foreman is, see if we can get them off the bridge temporarily. That warning did not come in time. Divers are now searching the water for the bodies of those workers, presumed dead. We will use every resource to bring them a sense of closure. Um, we think that's important, and, uh, and we think these families have earned it. Investigators are looking for clues on the ship, the dally, especially in the black box data recorder from the vessel. Two dozen investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are focusing on documents, pictures, and interviews with crew members, looking for clues as to what caused the crash. We will be looking for any sort of electronics, documentation. We will want to take pictures. We will want to look at the engine room of the vessel, uh, the bridge. And then we will want to look at the highway structure itself in situ now that it has collapsed. The Dolly, about the size of an aircraft carrier, was involved in a previous crash, colliding with a wall in Antwerp in 2016. Are you finding anything surprising? The ship has been in a collision before. Wherever the investigation leads, that we will follow and we will make sure there's, there's true accountability around it. The economic impact is massive. With the bridges collapse, that leaves Baltimore, the largest port in the U.S. for transporting vehicles, largely shut down. Other East Coast ports are picking up the slack, but it leaves a major kink in the supply chain. At the White House, U.S. officials say the top priorities are reopening the port and rebuilding the bridge. About 8,000 jobs we think are directly implicated, uh, and uh, over $100 million of cargo uh, moves in and out of that port a day. The vessel passed two foreign port inspections in 2023, but an inspection in Chile that year found what it called propulsion and machinery deficiencies. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Baltimore. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.